Today's the day I repaint the inside of my submarine. But the first thing I gotta do is remove the black mold and mildew that built up from the insane amount of humidity and condensation. Gotta get a bunch of stuff outside of the submarine that's been laying around in there from last year. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> These little metal plates uh, make the seats. They just sit right there in the hall and uh, did that because when you need to get to the back conning tower or move around inside the sub, you can rotate these and just set them on the floor and it gets them out of the way. The amount of mold in there, I'm gonna put my mask on. That'll help. Here's a defective motor controller for the uh, thrusters. Wrench, zip ties, pipe clamp, all sorts of shit. I head up in the front. I usually do keep some tools inside the sub at all times because if there is something that is fixable while you're down there, it's always good to have some tools versus nothing. Pipe wrench, never know, you get a small leak. All you need to do is just tighten it up a little bit. That's never happened, but you never have enough stuff. Gonna start pulling the carpet out. Oh, that's bad. Now I'll bring you inside, we'll start spraying the bleach. We're gonna put the fan on top of the uh, cutting tower. Put that on full speed. Now you got air blowing out through this tower. No blurry lens. Okay. We're just gonna spray this on literally everything. Probably help if I put some gloves on. Let's get some gloves. You can see how good that's working. Where I sprayed, where I didn't. So you do not want a bleach burn on your skin. It's not fun. I've gotten it before. Not uh, probably as safe when it comes to PPE as they probably should be. Come up from here. All right. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna stand over here and go this way now. Move that camera since the air is kind of drew wafting in my face. Spin around inside the hall. Now I will set you up. There we go. That works. My mic's still good. So, like I said in the last video, when I first brought the submarine in the garage, uh, this I'm going to prevent from happening again. Uh, I've already done this a couple times and it sucks. Didn't really have a good game plan for keeping the humidity down in here, but I'm going to straight up put a dehumidifier in here. I think one of you guys, you posted a really good comment in the last video. I've actually found a dehumidifier that is small enough and uses a compressor. I might actually go that route instead of putting fans on the flood valves while it's stored. All right, got it all sprayed. Gonna let that dry up a little bit before and after on this hatch right here. I don't know if you can see it, but so much better. So I've let all of the bleach dry and air out. So now we're gonna begin painting. We got our Rust-Oleum almond color. Yeah, so if you're thinking, oh, see I got a spider crawling across my finger. <sighs> uh, if you're thinking of building a submarine, if you're one of those people watching and uh, subscribe to the channel because you love submarines and you want to learn how to do something like that and you are successful and you do all the proper things to, to build a submarine, well, get ready to do a lot of maintenance. It does not stop when you're done building it. There's, there's always going to be things to do. One of our next videos that we're going to be doing is a hydroelectric power project that I'm going to do in my backyard. So subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. In addition to all this stuff we're going to be doing in the summertime, dive in the submarine. Break these off. Break these off and I'll glue them back on because I really don't want to paint the wire. These are blower motors. Now, I use these uh, just to circulate air inside the uh, submarine because the air circulation is really important because when that CO2 scrubber is working, you want that, that uh, fresh air and the oxygen to disperse evenly in the cabin. So that is why I got one blower motor here that blows this direction and then this one going this way so it keeps like a swirling effect. This part's, this part's quick. Oh, it's gonna look so good when it's done. I mean, I remember it, it looked beautiful not too long ago. And like I said before, it's like, looks like it's abandoned for 10 years. I didn't turn the fan on, I forgot. So I'm gonna get out in a minute. I'm gonna turn the fan on because this is oil-based paint. You start, start putting this up and you're not gonna be breathing that well, so. The fan is on. Hey, I'll do some karaoke while I'm painting. I'm just kidding. You'll probably skip through all that. My retention rate will be like 10%. So, but that's going to look so good. Oh, yeah. This whole area is painted. Now I'm going to do the top because I'm done on this side. We're going to come back over here and start working around these panels. When you crawl around 
in a steel tube for an hour or two, you are done. And now I'm over this section here. I had a spider crawling on my head. It's just all these little spiders. It's just disgusting. This is the harder part of the job is trying to not get paint on everything. My hands are just so, I should have put gloves on. I don't know why I didn't think I wouldn't really get much on me, but it's all over the freaking paintbrush handle and it's an oil-based paint, so. Let's try to stand up. Oh, my feet are sleeping. Oh. All right, that sucked. That was probably the worst day trying to make a YouTube video ever. My hands are so sticky. Uh, I got paint all over me. I had spiders all over me. Just got it finished, but now we gotta let it dry. I hope you guys like seeing me struggle today. And yeah, I really do hope you hit that like button and subscribe. Going to be repainting the panels and hopefully putting that new linear actuator in there for the dive plane. You know, when I'm sitting there painting, it's kind of hard to think of what to talk about. So I pretty much covered everything in a lot of my shorts and other videos as far as questions go. So I guess now's the time to put your questions in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one.